Hey, what's going on, everyone? Octavia Prime Access has arrived, bringing along with her Tenora and Pandero Prime. Today, we'll be doing a full overview as well as a guide on all the relics. The Prime Access packs are as follows The Mallet pack includes 10,050 Platinum and Tenora and Pandero Prime. The Renaissance pack includes 2625 Platinum, Octavia Prime, Tenora Prime, and Pandero Prime, as well as the Octavia Prime Profile Glyphs for $82. The last pack is 3990 Platinum which includes Octavia, Tenora, and Pandora Prime, the Octavia Prime Profile Glyphs, as well as the accessories for $145. The accessories include Glissandra Prime Armor, Ceridine Prime Sindana, 90 Day Resource Booster, 90 Day Affinity Booster, and the Arista Prime Shazen for $51.99. Here's a look at Octavia Prime in game with her armor and Sindana on. Here's a look at the Tenora Prime. And the stats as well. It has a 30% crit chance, 2.2 crit multiplier, 12 fire rate, 0.5 reload, 24% status, 8.4 impact, 11.2 puncture, and 8.4 slash. Here's a look at the Pandero Prime in game. It has a 30% crit chance, 2.8 crit multiplier, a 3 fire rate, a 8 magazine size, a 1.0 reload, 24% status, 26 impact, 26 puncture, and 52 slash. I will have a full guide and build for both of these weapons later today. Here's a look at the Prime Shazen in game. Octavia Prime can be found in the following relics. Axio 5 contains the Octavia Prime blueprint and can be dropped in the following locations. Lith G3 relic contains the Octavia Prime Neuroptics and can be found in the following locations. Meso D6 contains the Octavia Prime Systems Blueprint under Common, and it can be found in these following locations. The Neo Z7 Relic contains the Octavia Prime Chassis Blueprint, and it can be found in these following locations. The Pandero Parts can be found in the following relics. Axie C6 includes the Pandero Prime Barrel under Uncommon. It can be dropped in the following locations. Lith I1 includes the Pandero Prime Blueprint under Common and it can be found in these following locations. The Neo P2 includes the Pandero Prime Receiver under Rare, and it can be found in these following locations. And lastly, the Tenora parts can be found in the following four relics. The Axie T6 includes the Tenora Prime stock under Uncommon, and can be dropped on these following locations. The Lith T5 relic contains the Terranora Prime Barrel, and it can be dropped at these following locations. The Meso T4 Relic contains the Tenora Prime Receiver under Rare, and it can be dropped at these following locations. And lastly, the Neo B7 Relic contains the Tenora Prime Blueprint under Common, and it can be found at these following locations. Now we're going to go over the best way to farm these relics. For Lith, go to the Void and run the Hepit mission. This is the best way for Lith Relics. For Mesa Relics, you either can do Kelpie on Sedna, which is Disruption, or Yur on Uranus which is also a disruption. As an alternative method, you can run Akko Capture in the Void for a mix of Meso and Neo Relics, but disruption is still the best farm. For Neo and Axie Relics, the best farm is Apollo on Lua, which is also a disruption mission. If you don't want to farm at any of the locations I listed, you can also head to the Tenno.Zone website, which lists the drop tables for each area, as well as which ones drop at a percentage. If this helped you out, please consider subscribing to the channel, as I'll be uploading more from content. Thanks for watching.